hey y'all welcome back to my channel and thank you for taking your coffee and zona break with me laura guys today is a thursday may 20 2021 so today guys is a money thursday and what an awesome day it is guys because the internal revenue service has been making deposits all this week so in today's video guys i'm going to update you on which tax refund payment is being deposited today and also what you can expect for tomorrow. Over the past few weeks, I've had a lot of new subscribers who's here to help us grow our community. In addition to that, I know that there are a lot of you who are late filers and you all wanna know what exactly is happening with your tax refund. So many of you want to know what exactly is going on with your tax refund. What is happening, Laura? So what I'm going to do, guys, is do something very nice for you all and provide you some quick clips on what is happening. Take a look. The light as to what is going on and um, when you're going to get your money. So what's going on, guys, is that a lot of early filers were expecting their tax refund by March 5th or within the 21 days, and they did not receive it. I'm also in that group of individuals who filed early and did not receive their refund. So what I did was I called, I waited at least till March 5th and I called maybe, I think I actually waited a few days and I called to find out, okay, what's going on with my refund? So I was lucky enough to get a hold of a representative and what she said is that there was an error on my refund and it should take about 10 weeks now when she said that i just honestly i felt like she was giving me a generic answer and i did tell her i said um there's nothing wrong with my refund <laughs> i was very confident that there was nothing wrong with my refund i prepared my own taxes and i know there was nothing wrong with my refund so i felt like you know it was very generic what she said so what i did i went ahead and i waited a while i've been on the irs twitter i've been reading comments from there i've been on other um tax threads and i've been reading their comments and i noticed that a lot of individuals are given the same reason which is there is an error and it's going to take 10 weeks so yeah i was right that the response that she gave to me was generic so this is the response that they are giving to everyone. And what's been going on is that they've been telling the media that you know, that video that I made was around March 5th. And I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description so that you can watch the full video. Now, a lot of you are wondering, how am I going to be able to get through to the Internal Revenue Service? Well, luckily for you all, you did not have to go through what we early filers went through. Take a look at this. And of course, guys, it is the weekend, so a lot of you will be headed to the mall, headed to Walmart, headed to Target to go spend your income tax refund. But for most Americans who have not received their income tax refunds, we will be on the phone trying to call the Internal Revenue Service. Thank you for calling the Internal Revenue Service. Due to extremely high call volume, your call cannot be completed at this time. As you could imagine, the beginning of the tax season was a complete mess. A lot of us had questions and we had no way to contact customer service. So many questions, not enough answers, no money in the bank. A lot of people had to reach out to lawmakers to find out what is going on with the Internal Revenue Service. And this is what the IRS commissioner has to say, Commissioner Reddy. And we are working hard to improve our phone level of service. We faced and continue to face enormous challenges. On occasion, we did not get it right, but we should have and we accept that responsibility, and I accept that responsibility. There was no way for anyone, the IRS, anyone in the government, anyone in the private sector, to, to predict the level, depth, and, and spread of the pandemic. 
When we were submitting, submitting our congressional budget justification level of service, which applied to this year, but is submitted effectively two years in advance, the impact of the pandemic, that the pandemic would have on our call volume, our filing season, and our hiring was a complete unknown. That budget, which is our level of service, which is essentially for most people think of the volume of telephone calls we are able to answer, um, was determined before there was a pandemic, before there was an EIP-1, before there was an EIP-2, before there was an EIP-3, and before all the other challenges that the IRS proudly accepts and assumes and, and proudly assumes the responsibility to handle. We are still working through the impacts of COVID-19, which created staffing shortages and closures at the same time. We have been experiencing higher than expected call demand for the reasons I previously indicated, with an increase in call handling time. Our employees are spending an additional three or four minutes per telephone call received, which is caused, we believe, by the greater call complexity due to the economic impact payments and other recent tax changes. However, I and other leaders of the Internal Revenue Service have encouraged our employees to spend that additional time. With respect to unemployment insurance benefits, we, are, we believe that we will be able to um, monitor. Filers were frustrated and pissed off because we had no idea that the tax season was going to start off like this. I started investigating myself because I needed to know where was my tax refund. So once everybody started watching my videos and we all started getting together asking questions, we all noticed that we had one thing in common, topic 152, and we all had to wait 10 weeks to get our tax refund. If you're a late filer and you just filed your tax return, this is what topic 152 means. Just filed Check your tax out. return. Topic 152 means that your tax return is going to take longer than 21 days to process. If you claim the recovery rebate credit or the earned income tax credit, you may have to wait longer than 10 weeks for your tax return to be processed manually. The tax season starting on February 12th, all over the media, everywhere it was, File early, file early, file early, file early. The Internal Revenue Services wanted us to file early. So for most of us who was listening, we were like, okay, we're going to file early because that means we will get our tax refunds early. And the reason for that is because they were already delayed from 2019. So people hurting out here. We need our money. So of course, we're going to file early. So... I, myself, I filed early as well because I was expecting my refund. So what I did was I went on TurboTax and I filed my taxes. And just like you all early filers, we were all accepted on February 12th when the tax um, season opened up. So, of course, you know there is a process. The process is you have to wait the 21 days in order for you to receive your refund. Now, here's the thing, guys. If you use your earned income tax credits or the child tax credit, there is a hold. So let's talk about that hold. This hold is because of what's called the PATH Act. So for tax filers who have children and you are claiming the earned income tax credit and or the additional child tax credit, you are subject to a hold from the PATH Act. Okay, so the PATH Act is the Protecting Americans from Tax Hikes Act of 2015. Okay, and it's spelled PATH, P-A-T-H Act. And basically, that PATH Act is supposed to protect you guys from fraudulent um, tax returns. You know, years ago, you know, you'll have a family member who done filed for your kid and you're like, where is my money? You, everybody was filing for everybody's children. So the Internal Revenue Service is like, uh-uh, we're not doing this no more. We have to put something in place. So they put in the PATH Act. So because of the PATH Act, you cannot receive your refund before February 15th of the calendar year. Now, guys, think about this. The Internal Revenue Service opened up the tax season on February 12th. For those of you who have not received your tax refund, hang in there guys because the money is 
coming. The Internal Revenue Service, as I said this week, is making tax refund deposits as well as bonus payments from the stimulus, the unemployment, as well as the plus of payments. As of today, guys, a lot of my subscribers are updating me and letting me know that they did receive a tax refund today. So go ahead and check your bank account to see if you received your tax refund. The IRS may deposit your unemployment tax refund, your stimulus, or your plus up payment tomorrow. So guys, make sure you are subscribed to my channel as I update you all on what is going on tomorrow. I also put the links of the full video of the clips that you saw early on in the videos. So make sure you guys take a look at those videos so you know what is happening. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.